Architectural visualization, or archivist for short, is an exciting field where art, engineering, architecture, and imagination come together to visualize amazing projects. So in today's video, we're going to talk about 9 or 10 facts about mediums and technologies that are making archivists fun and more accessible to everyone in the field. But before we do that, I just want to let you guys know that the Blender Market is having right now its biggest sale of the year from Black Friday to Cyber Monday. So if you want to get some add-ons, materials or 3D assets, this is your chance to do so at a 25% discount. Also I have in the description of this video a list of the most popular and powerful Blender add-ons to help you get started and get the best deals. Number 9. The Introduction of AI in ArcVis A very mind-blowing thing that can improve ArcVis massively is the introduction of AI. There are some recent and accessible AI tools which will make things evolve fast, I mean very fast. It's been used in under the hood technologies such as render denoisers, but its usage as a software for final image delivery is very polarizing. Nowadays tools such as Midjourney and Stable Diffusion can create full renders in seconds with just keywords or basic shapes and this of course creates a lot of questions about the future of ArcViz and its artists. So how this technological leap will affect the industry is yet to be seen. But what I am sure of is that technology never stops and the best way forward is to embrace it and incorporate it into your workflow. Number 8. Architectural Illustration While most modern architectural visualization is done using CGI and computers, in addition to relying on photorealistic 3D renders, 2D illustration is still well and alive. All model render engines allow the rendering of non-photorealistic styles in addition to software specifically designed to mimic paintings in addition to sketches. These are software such as Coral Paint, Sketchbook, and Krita. Also, did you know that there is an organization comprised of professionals engaged in the pursuit of architectural illustration called the American Society of Architectural Illustrators or ASI? The main purpose of this organization is the improvement of architectural drawings worldwide using any 2D medium including drawings, paintings, rendering, and digital imagery which is really interesting because they are trying to preserve the old way of looking at architectural visualization which is cool in my opinion. Number 7. Access Render Engine Options Another great technology that is making architectural visualization really interesting nowadays is the plethora of choices in the rendering department. There are more than 30 render engines available on the market today and more than 10 for each main 3D package, which is really interesting. This variety is due first to the multitude of 3D software packages, also architects and by extension ArcViz artists use different 3D packages such as Max, Revit, Blender, Rhino, etc. Each package in general comes with its internal render engine and third-party plugin. That's why the competition is getting much more fierce because they are trying to get as much users as they can, which can explain the big number of render engines we have nowadays. Another factor is the multitude of technologies and approaches involved in rendering which includes real-time, offline, ray tracing, path tracing, and biased engines and so on, which makes the options you have as rendering artists much more readily available. Number 6. Architecture and Photography Now we're gonna talk about the fact that ArcVis in a sense merging knowledge from two giant fields, which are architecture and photography. Architecture is an ancient and established art as opposed to photography, which is relatively a modern visual art. But they both live within the realm of architectural visualization. A good render is not only a result of good modeling and material selection, but a good grasp of the photographic process. Finding a good composition is of a very high importance if not the most important step in photography as well as in rendering. Like a good photograph, a render has to respect framing, focal length and color balance which all will help you guide the eyes of the client and tell your story. Most modern renderers now include a digital camera which mimics the settings found in real ones, such as focal length, ISO, film size and so on. So learning photography skills will certainly be beneficial for you as an archivist artist. Number 5. We're gonna talk about V-Ray, which is carrying a big portion of the ArcVis industry. While it is true that there is more than 30 render engines, V-Ray alone accounts for more than 60% of the rendering engine usage among ArcVis artists. 
The result comes actually from a survey conducted by the Suji Architects website. This comes as no surprise, as VR was amongst the first to introduce ray tracing to the masses more than 25 years ago. It started as a plugin for Macs, the most widely used 3D application for ArcViz, and then gradually added support for other software used by architects such as Revit, Rhino, SketchUp, and even Unreal Engine. Kaius Group actually did a good job of introducing a lot of features to their software and also embracing new technologies such as CPU and GPU and hybrid support, in addition to real-time rendering with Project Vantage, and most importantly, the integration with Unreal Engine and the addition of curated assets with Kaios Cosmos. Number 4. Game Engines the use of game engines such as Unity and Unreal to produce architectural visualization is now mainstream. According to a CG Architect survey, more than 20% of artists now use Unreal and 50% are exploring using it in future projects. Game engines offer some unique features compared to other mediums. Interactivity and the ability to be programmed come first. But in my opinion, the great thing is that you can not only present a static visual, but a changing one where you can program different materials, lights, and assets. It also allows the creation of digital twins where digital projects are linked to their real counterparts. Number 3. Architecture and Cinematography ArcVis involves knowledge of one of the most important fields nowadays, which is cinematography. Every art is about storytelling, but cinematography is the art of telling a story through motion pictures. This goes without saying that ArcVis, which is a blend between painting, photography, architecture, and design, is the perfect place to use cinematography and to present a story through a compelling animation. Understanding the concepts of cinematography will elevate your renderings from mere walkthroughs to a true art form and gives your architectural animations a quality boost that will certainly make your projects unique and interesting to look at. Also, learning essentials of cinematography such as narrative writing, proper use of light, camera movement, and shot types, in addition to sound design and editing, will certainly make your work stand out from the crowd. Number 2. Real-time rendering Real-time render engines are very popular with architects and they are used extensively for architectural visualization. The most known ones are Lumion, Twinmotion, Inkscape, and D5 Render. They use a mix of rasterization and selective ray tracing to achieve rendering in real time, but in most cases at the cost of quality. Real-time render engines are of a lesser visual quality than offline render engines such as V-Ray, but what they offer is instant feedback, ease of use, and huge libraries of ready-to-use assets. In general, real-time render engines are specifically developed with architects in mind, and they have tools dedicated for that profession. Number 1. AR and VR Additionally, one of the most important technologies that is massively improving architecture and ArcViz is the introduction of AR and VR. Virtual reality and augmented reality both offer immersive experiences that are not available in other mediums. Architectural visualization being technology-focused rapidly picked up the trend and incorporated various tools to produce virtual reality content for architects, realtors, and final clients alike. Visualization studios and architectural firms both use VR and AR technologies for design and client presentation, and the technology is only going stronger with more powerful hardware that offer a great visual fidelity and faster frame rates. Also, thanks to mobile devices such as smartphones, creating immersive visits is becoming more and more accessible, and while a smartphone will not offer the same quality as a VR headset, it lowered the barrier of entry to the world of VR and AR. At its core, architectural visualization is using any medium to depict an inbuilt building or an upcoming project. Nowadays, the visuals are produced using 2D and 3D software in addition to VR and AR and other technologies. Unlike other more mature professions, there is almost no standardization in the architectural visualization field. The term is used to describe the entire profession that uses techniques ranging from 2D paint to real-time VR applications, which is not a bad thing per se, as this profession is advancing at a very rapid pace and always embracing the latest technologies while still remaining artistic at its core. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you 
in the next one.